Okay, testing, testing. I hope that last recording saved. We're gonna do one more blind run of DDC. This time we are going to play on easy mode. And let's do a return to form with Sakuya. I get the uh, translation open, and of course, as always, I will be doing my ridiculous, uh, uh, basically screwing around with the dialogue. Alright, blind run of Sakuya on easy in 3, 2, 1, let's begin! Oh, nice. Oh, she's got the card instead of the magical Sakia Chan star. I decided I need to get rid of it, but then after that I stopped appearing in Toho games, and now she has the last one. So, name the top 10 cussing moments. I'm using Sakia A, uh, Seeker. Cherno. Thanks, my heal. Oh, cool, exploding knives. Goonies. So this is what cleaning the lake is like. Hey, you! So, I fear you live at that mansion. Oh, it's a half-fish person! I didn't know anything's lived in this lake besides, you know, fairies. Well, um, that's how it is. We, we've been around for a while, so I don't know why you don't know about us. So, I'm gonna fight you now. Knife's home, I didn't notice that. Huh. How did I. Oh. That was horrendously pathetic. Truly a careless mistake. I didn't know there was these kind of creatures around here. Well, maybe I should go out and look for some more things. Gotta test my knives on other things, you know? Oh, 
Now that I did not see coming. I think I was doing even better on normal mode. Must be getting careless. Okay, focus. Wow, there's Yokai running this close to the human village. Ah, uh, it looks like that peace that we had after that Diamondback incident is finally starting to subside. Hey! So, um, uh, you're here to exterminate me, aren't you? Well, yeah. I feel like cutting a neck right now. Oh, that sucks. I, I don't really have a neck. What's crazy is I bet there's gonna be some people who uh, who uh, go to the Toho Wiki after this and look up the actual translation, and many will be shocked to find that some of these lines I'm saying actually are in the real translation. This whole stream should come up with a uh, not making this up disclaimer. <laughs> Well, half of it. I'm making up some of the lines, and others I'm not. Look at that bomb. Yeah, this I can handle. Wow, you're, you're quite strong. Well, since when did I ever mention I was weak? But, yeah, my expectations were a little off. What do you mean? Well, it's like you said, you don't have a neck, and I want to cut stuff. You know, I want to slash necks and stuff. You're a sick weirdo, you know that? Into the bamboo forest. Saki is spread. It covers the whole screen. When you go into focus mode, you can uh, get a nice homing shot. gone from horrendously difficult to horrendously easy. I didn't have to move. Oh, wow, this is like imperishable night in slow motion easy. The 
and watch. I know I'm just gonna get hit with something the moment I say that. Yeah, schizophrenic difficulty. This trope needs that. Oh, this game needs that trope. Okay. Let's see. So, you're here to exterminate me. Yeah, um, what's up with all the yokai asking me to exterminate them? Well, um, why are you asking? You have a fresh yokai right here, and I see you got knives, so go to town! Uh, like, where should I, uh, like, knife you wear? In the face? No, we're not gonna do any Fight Club references. Well, um, well, can I still test my knives on you? Uh, sure thing, but I gotta warn you, it's a full moon, and I'm a werewolf, so, um... Surprise me! So, let's see. So, uh, oh yeah, you're a werewolf. Yeah, I'm a werewolf. Well, by the way, you're made of flesh. Well, that's still creepy. Now, on second thought, I think werewolves are bad for knives, so I'll, I'll just do the whole spy thing and just stab you in the back. It's like a, a one-hit kill, right? Um, uh, this isn't Team Fortress 2. It's a Danmaku game. Well, by the way, you know what? Screw this! Humans are scary. I'm I'm leaving now. All right. Uh, I guess what could I accomplish just bullying a yokai like this? <laughs> I can read the chat, but unfortunately, I have to keep my eye on the screen a lot. So. uh... Like, the other times, like, I have plenty of practice with games like Imperishable Night and Bonnie Minus Scarlet Devil, so... And even subterranean animism, but this... This requires my full concentration this time. Getting these little free blocks. Yeah. Oh, ah, That's exactly what that was there for.
shoot me. Oh no, not twice in the same let's play. Oh crap. Yeah, I can't answer any messages right now because, you know, I'm trying to put all my concentration on this right now. Yeah, since the last Let's Play I've done, I, uh, have people blowing up my, uh, messages. Oh, crap. A lot. Okay, so, wow, what's with all these creepy clouds? It's unnatural. I like that last time with the, you know, the missing spring and whatnot. What, yeah. So, it looks like you're, you could be my opponent. Ah, nice, something to stab. Wait a sec, I found her first because I'm a mid-boss. Oh, uh, okay, um, actually, no, wait. I'm going to take her. I'm, I'm the boss boss. I'm the boss. Seriously? Well, can you go through, uh, show us a day in the life of the boss? Well, the first thing I do is shoot Danmoku like a boss. Run away like a boss. Uh, get ready for a boss battle like a boss. Cue stage theme like a boss. this happen? I'm not entirely sure what Sakia's spell card is supposed to- Whoa! Dude. Okay, so, um, I, uh, let's see, what, what's the line you should say? I know the first one's okay. Let's see, where's my script? Okay. Well, let's just skip past this. Oh yeah, it looks like it's only for, uh, normal mode. Okay, now for stage five. Do a barrel roll! screws with the formula because they're coming from behind. It's really using the space. I don't think I've ever encountered a stage like this.
because I do understand that stage 5 is supposed to get used to, like, large ring-type uh, attacks. This is normally the pattern for stage 5. And here's Seija, the big bad. She flips things. Reminds me very much of Puto and oh crap. Okay, for a second I thought the screen was gonna flip over. Oh, did that auto death bomb? That felt like an auto death bomb. I'm getting confused. I'm getting a very, uh, stage four of subtraining animism vibe from this. Yep, they're coming in from behind. And I guess it's it's supposed to prepare you for the boss battle, because in the boss battle, the screen's gonna get flipped upside down. Okay, you know the first one. What's this? Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do you want? This is the place for yokai. So um, get out of here. Um, I'm trying to test my knives on stuff, so um, uh, might help me out. Oh. Oh yeah, um, I'm the reason that happened. Say what? Um, so, uh, oh yeah, you want to become stronger and, uh, I basically made you go mad with power. Well, yeah. Well, you can help me join my res uh, my revolution and we're basically gonna overthrow people. It's kind of like that last incident that happened a while back. Um, I don't like the sound of that. Are you sure? We have candy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of loyal to, uh, some vampires, so, um, no need for the revolution. Well, in that case, um, well, if you're not with us, you're against us, so, um, I'm gonna annihilate you. That's, uh, pretty much it. I'm gonna flip the screen upside down, so, it's gonna be unfair, but I wasn't one for fairness. I noticed something. I did not, I, I haven't done the crazy voices like I did last time. Next let's play, I'll do the crazy voices. Okay, here we go. I'll get that heart first. Okay, the controls are reversed. I can handle the controls being reversed. Okay, up and down isn't reversed, but left and right are. And thank goodness for that, because... When they flip the screen upside down, I think the controls are also going to be in reverse. I haven't used continue yet. I'm surprised. Okay, here we go. Lipping round two. Okay. Oh, controls aren't... Well, up and down's now reverse. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a big racing vibe from this one. Here we go, we'll be round three. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, it's not flipping. Flipping tells me she's just giving me a Oh, it's speeding up! All sets of security, damn you! That heart piece, that heart piece. Wow, I think we can make it this. Oh, famous last words. Okay, controls are fully reversed this time.
Okay, now this one's cool, because this time the controls are fully reversed. Okay. Let's see, where were we? Oh, look how that happened. Well, that sucks. So, um, looks like my knives work on you. Well, mark it down for uh, whatever you are for killable via knives. Well, um, yeah, but, you know, the point still stands that I made all the weapons in Gensokyo crazy, so, you know, there is that little matter, so... You'll have to basically find whoever caused this that I manipulated and feed them, so, okay, thanks, bye. Well, well, I think I beat the big bad. That's a hope spot. I really need to go find whoever caused this, yeah. Alright. Stage six. Still upside down. Oh wow, it, it transitions right from stage uh, stage five. That's neat. I have never seen that in a Toho game. It it goes directly from uh, stage five to stage six. It's always like a big change in scenery, but no, not here. It, it's yeah, it's like a very smooth transition this time. Parties. Now what? How, why do I keep getting those? Let's see. Well, I beat the big bad, but uh, I feel like someone else is here. So, um, uh, anyone? Oh, who's this? Oh, you're a human. Uh, eat something? Yeah, that was something I wanted to ask you about. And, uh, what am I... Oh, yeah, it's, it's the knife, right? Uh, oh, yeah, what about it? It's a big old experiment, and, uh, just, I was using you to test it out. Oh, Xanatos Gambit. Yeah, um, can't really do much myself, because, you know, I'm uh, a dwarf, midget, uh, how do I put this in politically correct terms? But, you know, I'm, I'm a fantasy creature that is small, and I can't really do much myself, except, you know, whack things with a hamlet and so very, very large scarves. So, um, uh, thanks for carrying out my plans. Oh yeah, uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Let's see, well, where am I? Oh yeah, it's about that whole resistance thing, right? Uh, oh yeah, we're, we're trying to overthrow big people, and that's why all the powers are reversed, so... Um, I should be pretty damn powerful for this final boss thing. Alright then, uh, let's fight! Okay, boss time. Get to the story later. Here we go, Shinyo Maru, final stage of... Double-dealing character, and I'm surprised that I've gotten as far as I have. Like, normally I'd use at least to continue on my first run, even on easy. As you saw in the normal run, I didn't do so well. Oh wow, that's cool. It's like little bouncy balls. She's in a bowl. She was in a bowl until I destroyed it. You guys can hear the music because it is amazing. Let's see, Emotional Skyscraper is one of my favorite final uh, boss themes behind uh, 
Septet, and uh, History of the, Mu of the Moon, but this one's freaking awesome. And big bullets! Big Utsuho bullets! It's like they're coming at the screen. Okay, this is an awesome boss. It's not difficult, it's just fun. Oh crap. I see what she's doing. She's getting closer. Big knives. That's cool. I wonder, does, does it change per character? I was so close to 1cc'ing this thing. Oh well, let's 2cc it. Oh, I don't know. Oh wow. That's a doozy. Very tight squeeze. Alright, last one. It's always one that accelerates as it goes. I see several dancing Sekibanki, not Sekibanki, uh, Shinyomaru's. Beautiful little dance. Make a little Don Maku. Get down tonight. What is up with that? I need to figure out what the mechanics are behind. Hey, here's three bomb pieces. Go to town. Yep, accelerating. And bam sauce! We got the bad ending of Double Dealing Character. So, while the ending plays, I'm going to switch to the... Uh, the uh, Spastic Make Stuff Live logo and give you my first impressions. I, well, of course, I absolutely love the music, and I can easily tell you that uh, I, uh, what else? The music's great, love the patterns, huge difficulty jumps between easy and normal. I can only imagine what Lunatic's like. I'm probably gonna do a blind run of Lunatic with Marisa next, and, uh, yeah, this is a freaking amazing game. I it, I love the patterns, I love the music, I love the gameplay, love the mechanics, love the boss themes, love the uh, special gimmicks each boss has. It's good. It's G-E-W-D good. So, uh, we're gonna continue with Lunatic, but if you're just watching this on YouTube, then I'll see you later.